we're in Norway exploring what you can make in a flow machine with iGEMS CAD CAM. It's really exciting stuff. Let's have a look. Not at all a random flow. I mean, we hear that they make beautiful machines and beautiful pumps, but their users want more functions in their software. A modern user interface and uh, more capabilities in 3D cam and nesting. Nesting. I mean, our nesting, we have done some small tests, just small tests, and we see that it's not uncommon that we have 10% or more efficiency in our nest. And that, that could be a lot of money. I mean, it's all your material spending. Let's take 10% off from that. With the prices going up right now, it's, uh, it's, I would say it's crucial for you to at least try our software. It's super easy to install. You just download it on a website, sign up for a subscription license for one year, and you download our installation file for Flow Master 6 or Flow Master 7. And that's done. So this nest here was made in Flow Nest 8 and imported into iGEMS. And I mean, we can see that there can be some improvements in this. So let's just see what we can do in iGEMS super fast. I'm heading over to the Nest tab and clicking Auto Nest, selecting the part, enter, and then the sheet. And I know the part distance for that other nest is five millimeters. So let's just do basic setup here. 80 parts, stop, okay. So we have 80 parts here. We nested for one second basically, and we have nine more parts than this nest. That's quite powerful, I'll tell you. I mean, imagine what that can do in one year. But we can push this even further because this cutting strategy is not very good for cutting circles because we have a lead in and lead out on all of these. We can make that better. So let's do the nesting again and we select same part, same sheet. But now instead of setting a part distance up here, we're going to use a common cut line. And that is doing, let's say we would cut these two parts. We could cut between them once so we don't have to cut this two times, right? So we place them with a part distance of our jet. So let's click nest and yeah, straight away we get 81 parts. Stop, okay, close. And we can program this as well with our cam, tool path and circle cut feature. So we can enter basic lead functions here. The quality doesn't matter since we're cutting on flow. The flow controller is handling all the speeds and everything. So click okay. Select this, enter, and then a start position. Let's start over here because that's our start corner. We can set lead in and lead out. 
confirming that right there with enter and enter. And this now has only got one lead in. That means we save a bunch of time. So let's do a cut order on this. So we get our zero point down there in the corner and process and just do a simulate 2D. Enter and then play. So let's see what this one does. It's not a conventional cut, is it? This one saves you so much time. The, the other um, cut was two hours and 11 minutes. This one is one hour and 45 minutes. But this one has got 10 more parts on it. So we save both time and get more parts from it. Quite impressive, huh? But let's not stop there. Let's open our samples and AutoNest. We can see we have a bunch of parts here on the left and we have four sheets here. Let's go back to our nesting tab and the AutoNest function. Select the parts, enter, and select the sheets, enter. Now we have to select our machine and material, but the material doesn't matter since we're cutting on flow. The controller handles everything. So let's just use our base settings here. Click Nest. And that will utilize as much parts as possible, of course, on our selected sheets. But see here, we have, this is a part inside a part that's inside of another part. And this is just, yeah, it's going bananas. And this Nest will just keep on working till we say stop. So a good way to earn a lunch is to start a nest before you go to lunch, eat your lunch and then come back and you have saved money for, well, your lunch. Stop. Okay, close. Now, how do we program this? Well, we can use our contour cut with automatic lead. Just say multi and we will select all the parts on one of these sheets. That will place leads on them and of course it will uh, do the cut order so it will cut the internal parts before the external. So everything is good to go. We can do process, select this sheet and click G1, G2, OK and that will spit out an ORD file that we can read in the flow cut controller and start to cut. But nesting isn't everything. We also have great support for a lot of file types. So let me show you what we can do here. Um, I'm just gonna go to a website. NASA is pretty cool, so I just open NASA's website. I right click here and I say save image, save. So that's an SVG file. An SVG file is a vector file, which is very common on the internet. I open iGEMS CAM CAM, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this file. It's that easy. It's incredible. I can select it. You see all the details here are highlighted. So we get all this information in from an SVG file. But I know that you're interested in more file types than the SVG, so let's just look what we can import. Click open. These are all the file types that we can import in our 2D environment, which is quite a substantial list. But I know that some of you are interested in 3D cutting as well. And we're gonna look at this one. It doesn't look like a 3D file or a 3D part, but Coming in here, you see that we have these small bevels at the top here. So it's basically a two edge bevel, which I know is quite hard to program in flow path. All right, so let's just look at the 3D file like this. We don't have to make it complex. We go into curves, we select auto to auto detect all our curves on the, on the part, go to our tool path, and we're just gonna create two of these. So let's just select the upper curve from the first cut, which is this. And I'll 
lead in and lead out. And then our second cut, lead in and lead out. And what we can do now is go to Polar Array and just array copy these tool paths like so. Click done. Bounding box. We want to find the center, so it's right there. Okay. So now we have eight identical or sixteen cuts. Eight identical times two. Next, just do our outer geometry as well, so that we can take this with us home, like that, enter, enter, close. What we have now is a part that you directly from iGEMS CAD CAM can put on your flow cut controller. We see the ORD code on the left here, and we see the movement of the machine. Next feature is a camera which is mounted right up here on this long arm. Uh, this is the first for our flow machines that I know of. We have this camera connected to our CAD CAM where you can position your parts onto the material on the machine which is really really good if you're cutting with uh, remnant sheets. Um, we also have another video about this called Snapshot that is uh, highly recommended. But let's have a look at what we can do on the flow machine with this. So when you've installed a camera above your machine, uh, there's a whole article and video about this and I'll link that in the description below. But when you've done that, you can go to Tools and we have a feature called Camera Snapshot. So you click that and it's very important that you add the thickness of the material right here. So let's use 10 millimeters, that sounds good. Click OK. And that will import the image in the zero point of this drawing. So the zero point of the drawing is right here. And we have calibrated this image. So we know that this is scaled one to one. So it's the same size on the drawing as it is on the machine. This sheet right here is two meters uh, in X direction here. So we can just check with the distance tool, go in here. We see the tolerance of this camera. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. So we know that this setup is correct. So all we have to do is add materials to this image. Let's use our fantastic import tool. We can import these sample files, for example. Manual placement, sure. We just add these to the drawing and create parts from them. Enter 10 parts each, okay. And we can just, if we want to nest this, we can go to CAD, rectangle, we can pick this edge and just go down to about here. And we can go from, we can do the line um, nearest, somewhere here. Just a rough nearest here. Escape, and then we can trim away this excess here. So now we have an outline of this area. We can go to cam again and create sheet because we can only nest within sheets from the outer nest. Uh, we just use this base settings here, but we don't want to add the texture. So we do this, okay. And now we have a sheet and we also have parts. So we can do the outer nest, go to nesting, outer nest, select these parts confirm with enter, and then select the sheet, confirm with enter. Let's just nest with these settings. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty good um, utilization. We almost get our 60 parts, 59 out of 60. Uh, we can just stop there for this demo. Close. And what we want to do now, which is very important, 
contour cut, multi and select all of these. So we add tool paths. And we also want to reference the zero point to this corner because this is the zero point of our drawing and on the machine. So we go to cut order, select these, and then we set our zero point to zero and zero, close. So now we can, we can go with the machine to the zero point of the machine. If we set our height, we can just go uh, and cut this directly. We could also reference it to, let's say, this corner right here. So if we went, took this one, take the same uh, cut order, enter there. We can uh, pick our position, so click on that one, and we can just zoom in here and click right there. So then we have our zero point there, so we can go with the machine, maybe find the height of this sheet, if we don't have a height sensor, and we can position it in this very corner, so we know that the zero point is correct. Close, and there you have it. Process, G1, G2, okay, save. And we have our ORD file that you can just import into FlowCut and start cutting. It's a pretty good way of utilizing remnant sheets from iGen CAD CAM on your flow machine. This is just a brief summary of what you can make with iGen CAD CAM on a flow water jet. I want you to go to the link in this description where you can access a 14 day free trial of iGen CAD CAM and go bananas. Try it out. You're going to love it. Catch you in the next one.